Today I am talking about the chemical properties of ammonia gas. Let's talk about the important properties. Number one, ammonia gas reacts with hydrogen chloride gas to form solid particles of ammonium chloride. Here, both the gas, ammonia gas and hydrogen chloride gas are colorless, but when they react with each other, then white fume appears which is made up of ammonium chloride. This can be represented by the following chemical reaction. Ammonia NS3. When it reacts with hydrogen chloride gas, it forms ammonium chloride, ammonium NS4, chloride Cl. Both of them have one balance, equal balance, no exchange. And this is balanced chemical equation, chlorine 1, chlorine 1, hydrogen 4, 1 and 3, 4, nitrogen 1, nitrogen 1. Next, it reacts with acids to form salt. When ammonia reacts with acid, just for example, if it reacts with sulfuric acid, then it forms ammonium sulfate. Ammonium valency 1, sulfate valency 2. So we have to exchange the valency. Valency of sulfate should be given to ammonium. And ammonium is a radical. That's why we have to put in bracket. And 2 is shifted here. And ammonium has only one valency. SO4 itself is 1. So we don't have to transfer this. Now this equation is not balanced, sulfate is 1, sulfate is 1, hydrogen 4 to the 8, here it is 2 and 3. If we take here 2, then 3 to the 6 plus 2 becomes 8. And here nitrogen 2, nitrogen 2. This is balanced chemical equation. Let's go to another also. Ammonia when reacts with nitric acid, then what happens? Ammonium nitrate forms. Ammonium NS4, nitrate NO3. Both of them have equal valency 1. Equal valency, that's why no exchange. Now, this is balanced chemical equation. Here it is 3. Oxygen 3, oxygen 3, nitrogen 1 and 1, 2. Nitrogen 1 and here 1, 2. Hydrogen 4, 3 plus 1, 4. Now, let's go to third important property. It dissolves in water to form weak alkali called ammonium hydroxide. Actually, it dissolves and reacts with water to form a weak alkali ammonium hydroxide. It can be represented by the following reaction. NS3 ammonia plus water. When they react, they form ammonium hydroxide. This is balanced chemical equation. Hydrogen 1 plus 4, 5. 3 plus 2, 5. And oxygen 1, oxygen 1, nitrogen 1, nitrogen 1. Now let's go to another important property of ammonia gas. Ammonia dissolves in water to form ammonium hydroxide just before I told you which reacts with acid to form neutral compounds salt and water. Ammonia reacts with water to form ammonium hydroxide and this ammonium hydroxide reacts with sulfuric acid to form salt and water because this is acid based reaction. Ammonium hydroxide is a weak base which when reacts with sulfuric acid forms salt and water. Salt is ammonium sulfate, ammonium NS4, sulfate SO4. Valency of sulfate that is 2 should be given to ammonium and another product is water. This is the reaction between ammonium hydroxide and sulfuric acid, acid-based reaction. Now, check it out whether it is balanced or not. Oxygen 1, oxygen 1, hydrogen here 2. I am not counting this hydrogen because ammonium is present in both the sides. That's why we will count ammonium. Here hydrogen 2, hydrogen 2 and this 1, 3. In left hand side we have 3. Here it is odd number. That's why it will be better to have 2 here. And when we put here 2, then hydrogen becomes 4. And we have to take here 2 to balance this. Oxygen is balanced or not? Now we can come back to C, oxygen. Here it is 2, here also 2. Now it is balanced. Ammonium hydroxide when reacts with hydrochloric acid, then what happens? This is also acid based reaction. And in this reaction, one of the salt ammonium chloride forms ammonium balance one chlorine balance one equal balance no exchange. And another product is water, salt and water. Now I want to see whether it is balanced or not. Oxygen one, oxygen one, hydrogen here two, and here hydrogen one, and here one, two. Okay, chlorine 1, chlorine 1, ammonium 1, ammonium 1. There are three acids which are very commonly used in laboratory. They are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and another nitric acid. Ammonium hydroxide, a base, when reacts with nitric acid, it forms salt, ammonium nitrate. Both of them have one balance, so no exchange and another product is water. 
let's check whether it is balanced or not oxygen one nitrate i am not counting because nitrate is present in both the side that's why we will count nitrate oxygen one oxygen one ammonium is present in both the side that's why i am not counting hydrogen of ammonium hydrogen two hydrogen one and one two so okay nitrate one nitrate one ammonium one ammonium one these are few examples in which ammonium hydroxide or weak alkali reacts with acid to form salt and water let's go to another important chemical property of ammonia gas a nitrogenous fertilizer urea is prepared by reacting ammonia with carbon dioxide gas at about 1500 degree celsius under certain pressure urea is one of the famous nitrogenous fertilizer and it can be prepared by reacting this two carbon dioxide and ammonia but it requires certain condition 1500 degree celsius temperature and a little pressure okay how can we write balance chemical equation of this chemical property we can write this way carbon dioxide co2 ammonia ns3 when they react they form ns2co ns2 this is urea instead of ns2co ns2 we can also write ns2 whole 2 co and there is another product also that is water now we have to check whether it is balanced or not oxygen 1 here oxygen 1 2 all together we have here 2 hydrogen here 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 here we have only 3 that's why if we take here 2 then it will balance now it's ton of nitrogen nitrogen 1 and this one 2 and in left hand side also 2 now it is balanced chemical equation now let's go to another important property ammonia reacts with oxygen to form nitrogen gas actually ammonia is neither combustible gas nor it supports combustion but when we pass both of them through narrow tube then it can be bond it bonds with bluish green flame reaction can be represented this way ammonia ns3 plus oxygen o2 what happens it forms nitrogen gas along with water vapor and we can balance this equation oxygen 1 oxygen 2 looking at this if we take here 2 then what happens hydrogen becomes 2 to the 4 here it is 3 it's odd number that's why we cannot take here 2 we have to convert this hydrogen into even number then only we can balance this equation so if we take here 2 instead of this place if we take here 2 then what happens 3 2 is a 6 hydrogen becomes 6 and if I take 3 here then oxygen becomes odd and so to convert odd into even it will be better to have here double number I mean to say instead of 2 we can take 4 and 4 3 is a 12 hydrogen is 12 so we can take here 6 to balance it 6 to the 12 now it's ton of oxygen oxygen 6 but here it is 2 only and that's why if we take here 3 3 to the 6 oxygen balance nitrogen here 2 here it is 4 if we take here 2 then it will balance these are very common or very important chemical properties of ammonia gas i think today's target is achieved if you have benefited by this class then please subscribe my channel and push the bell icon and like this video also thank you